Novitas Solutions, a CMS contractor, welcomes you to the on-demand education series. This on-demand tutorial is a general summary that explains certain aspects of the Medicare program, but it is not a legal document. The official Medicare program provisions are contained in the relevant laws, regulations, and rulings. The information enclosed was current at the time it was presented. Medicare policy changes frequently. Links to the source documents have been provided within the document for your reference. This presentation was prepared as a tool to assist providers and is not intended to grant rights or impose obligations. Throughout this module, you will see a citation number behind certain elements of information as shown in the example below. This citation number coincides with the transcript document positioned next to the Play Now icon you selected on the Training Videos Click and Play page on the Novitas Solutions website. The citation and associated hyperlink to the resource described in the module will be found on the transcript under footnotes for each slide. Novitas Solutions On Demand Education Series presents Understanding the Medicare Remittance Advice Part B, Part 2. Defining the sections of the remittance advice. Sections of a remittance advice. Professional standard paper remittances are split into four basic sections. Header information. This section contains header information and a bulletin board section. Assigned claims. Assignment is when a participating provider voluntarily and in advance enters into an agreement in writing to provide all covered services for all Medicare Part B beneficiaries on an assigned basis. This section provides detailed information for each individually assigned claim. Unassigned claims. Unassigned is when a non-participating provider has not entered into an agreement to accept assignment on all Medicare claims. This section provides detailed information for each individually unassigned claim. And lastly, glossary. This section lists all claim adjustment reason codes and remittance advice remark codes and their appropriate narrative that appears on the remittance advice. Components of the remittance advice. Paid and adjusted amounts will be totaled at the end of the assigned claims listings to help providers balance the billed amounts against the Medicare payments and adjustments. Unassigned claim information on any unassigned claims will be listed separately after the assigned claims to avoid the inadvertent use of unassigned claims information to balance accounts. Example of a remittance advice. The following remittance advice is an example of a standard paper remittance, showing the different sections that can be found on a remittance advice. For example, the header, claim level information, totals, and adjustments. Header section of a remittance advice. The header section of the remittance advice appears on all pages of the remittance advice. The bottom left hand corner of the header section will contain the provider information, including the name and complete address of the provider who submitted the claim. The bottom right hand corner will contain the MPI or national provider identifier of the facility receiving the remittance advice page number, which lists the current page and total number of pages in the remittance advice. The date, the date the remittance advice was issued and check EFT number, which lists the check number or the electronic funds transfer transaction number through which payment was issued.
The clean section header row. The claim section begins with a header row. The header row provides a reference for the service line level and claim level data that are displayed for each claim in the claim section. Claim section header description. The claim section header will display the following information. PERF PROV displays the National Provider Indicator, or MPI, of the performing or rendering provider for this line of service. SERV date indicates the date of service. POS stands for the two-digit place of service code that references where the service was rendered. NOS identifies the number of services rendered. PROC indicates the procedure code built on the claim. And lastly, MODS stands for modifiers build with the specified procedure. Claim section header description continued. The claim section header will also display the following fields. Build. This stands for the amount the provider billed for the service. Allowed. This indicates the Medicare allowed amount for the service. Deduct. Stands for deductible applied to the claim. COINS. Stands for coinsurance amount or the amount the beneficiary is responsible for paying the provider. GRP backslash RC. These are group codes and claim adjustment reason codes associated with this service line. These codes are defined in the glossary section of the remittance advice. AMT indicates the amount of any adjustments made based on the group code and claim adjustment reason codes. PROV PD. This is the total amount the provider was paid for the service. Claim section detail line. The claim section detail line begins after the header row and lists each claim individually. Each claim starts with name in the upper left and ends with net and an amount in the lower right. A single line separates each claim. The standard paper remittance displays names in alphabetical order by last name. Claim section, detail line, descriptions. The first six fields apply to the claim as a whole. Claim information is then broken out at a service line level. Name, displays the name of the beneficiary. MBI. This field displays the Medicare beneficiary identifier of the beneficiary for whom the claim was processed. ACNT. Contains any internal number assigned to the individual electronic claim by the provider. A zero appears if no internal number is submitted on the claim. ICN. Displays the internal control number. The 13-digit ICN is a unique number assigned to the claim at the time it is received by Medicare. It is used to track and monitor the claim. Claim section detail line descriptions continued. ASG, this field indicates whether the provider has accepted assignment for these claims. The field contains either a Y for yes or an N for no. MOA. This field contains remittance advice remark codes at the claim level. For example, MA01, shown in the example above. RARCs are used to convey appeal information and other claim-specific information. These codes and their meanings are listed in the glossary section at the end of the remittance advice. REM, or Remark Codes. This field indicates any RARCs associated with the claim. Some claims have additional RARCs that appear immediately under that service line level. For example, REM 
N699, shown in the above example. These codes and their meanings are listed in the glossary section at the end of the remittance advice. Claim section totals. The claim total section provides the total of all service line level amounts for each individual claim. These fields start with the PTRESP field or patient responsibility. Some claims show the claim information forwarded to field. This field is displayed when a claim is being forwarded to a beneficiary supplemental insurer. The supplemental insurer's name usually appears in this field. Claim section totals descriptions. The following fields appear in the claim section totals on the remittance advice. PTRESP indicates the total amount that the beneficiary owes the provider for this claim. Claim totals. This field provides the totals of all service line level amounts. The dollar amounts here fall under the billed, allowed, deductible, coinsurance, amount, and provider paid column headers. Net. This field indicates the net amount Medicare owes the provider for this claim. Some claims show the claim information forwarded to field. As previously discussed, this field is displayed when a claim is being forwarded to a beneficiary supplemental insurer. The supplemental insurer's name usually appears in this field. Summary totals descriptions. The summary total section displays totals for all claims on the remittance advice. Number of claims. Displays the total number of claims listed on the remittance advice. Build amount. Indicates the total amount billed for all claims listed on the remittance advice. The build amount does not include the dollar amounts for adjusted claims. Allowed amount provides the total amount allowed for all new claims. On previously processed claims, only the allowed amounts affected by the adjustment are included. And lastly, deductible amount displays the total amount applied to the beneficiary's deductibles for all claims listed on the remittance advice. Summary totals descriptions continued. The summary total section also displays totals for all claims on the remittance advice. Coinsurance amount provides the total coinsurance amount for all claims that are the beneficiary's responsibility. On previously processed claims, only the coinsurance amounts affected by the adjustment are included. Total RC amount indicates the total amount of adjustments made due to claim adjustment reason codes listed on each service line. The total reason code amount is determined by adding the coinsurance amount, the provider paid amount, and the deductible amount, if applicable, together, and subtracting that amount from the total billed amount. Summary totals descriptions continued, part two. The summary total section also displays totals for all claims on the remittance advice as listed in the following fields. Provider paid amount. The provider paid amount is the total net amount or the amount Medicare owes the provider for this claim minus any forwarding balance or FB. Provider adjusted amount. The provider adjustment amount is the total amount of any withholding amounts reflected with a WO. This amount provides the amount the check has been adjusted from the provider's paid amount. Lastly, check amount. The check amount is the total net amount minus any withholdings reflected by a WO. Provider level adjustment detail. The provider level adjustment detail section is used to show adjustments that are not specific to a particular claim or service on this remittance advice. Provider level adjustment, PLB reason code descriptions. PLB reason code, 
This field indicates the various provider level adjustment reason codes that may be used. A complete listing can be found on the Accredited Standards Committee, ASC, X12 website. Examples of PLB reason codes include, but are not limited to, 50, late charge, used to identify late claim filing penalties. L6, interest owed, used to reflect the interest paid on a claim listed on the remittance advice. WO, withholding, used to recover previous overpayments, a reference number or ICN for the claim is listed for tracking purposes. The withholding amount is subtracted from the check amount. Examples of remittance advice remark codes. FB, forwarding balance, reflects the difference in the payment between the original claim and the overpayment adjustment to the process claim. A forwarding balance will be on our remittance advice any time a claimant has been overpaid or adjusted. This amount does not reflect a withholding on this claim. Providers should receive a demand letter requesting this amount and instructions for refund. If the refund is not received in approximately 45 days, the amount will be reflected as a WO or withholding on a future remittance. When the adjustment shows a corrected payment of less than the original claim payment amount, a forwarding balance reflects a negative amount. When the adjustment shows a corrected payment of more than the original claim payment, the forwarding balance reflects a positive amount. The remittance advice will identify the associated forwarding balance with the financial control number or FCN from the associated demand letter and or the internal control number or ICN. Provider Level Adjustment, PLB Reason Code Descriptions. The following fields may also appear in the Provider Adjustment Details section of the Remittance Advice. FCN indicates the financial control number that this adjustment relates to when the adjustment refers to a claim that appeared on a previous remittance advice. This usually matches the internal control number field of a previous claim. If the adjustment in question does not relate to a previous claim, this field is left blank. MBI. This field displays the Medicare beneficiary identifier number of the patient who calls the offset. AMT. This field indicates the amount of the provider level adjustment. These adjustments can either decrease or increase the payment amount. Glossary section. The glossary section contains a list of all group codes, reason and remark codes, claim adjustment reason codes, and provider level adjustment reason codes used on the remittance advice. Each code appears with its appropriate narrative. Review this section for an explanation regarding the adjustments your Medicare administrative contractor made on the claims listed on the remittance advice. You may also find a listing of all reason and remark codes and claim adjustment reason codes on the Washington Publishing Company's website. Glossary section. The glossary section contains a list of all group codes, reason and remark codes, claim adjustment reason codes, and provider level adjustment reason codes used on the remittance advice. Each code appears with its appropriate narrative. Review this section for an explanation regarding the adjustments your Medicare Administrative Contractor, or MAC, made on the claims listed on the remittance advice. You may also find a listing of all reason and remark codes and claim adjustment reason codes on the Accredited Standards Committee, ASC, X12 website. Thank you for attending. We encourage you to visit our website at www.novitas-solutions.com to access additional on-demand resources or participate in our educational events. Visit our Learning Center to access the most current Medicare education.